Some people are fond of joking about how you can rub two sticks together to make a fire. Actually, what they're referring to is a process that applies friction to generate enough heat to produce an ember. Once formed, the ember is added to some tinder, coaxed into a flame, and then placed into the fuel to make the fire. Fire making using a bow and drill is not only an ancient art, it's also an attractive skill. Here are the materials that are needed. The bow, it should be about as long as your arm with a slight curve and fairly rigid. A flat slab of dry wood, referred to as a coal board or an ember pan, is used to collect the burnt sawdust and eventually harvest the glowing ember. The hearth or fireboard can be constructed from a variety of dry, non-resinous wood. It's usually about a foot long, three inches wide, and three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Depressions are cut into the board where the drill will spin and a V-shaped notch is cut from the side of the board almost to the center of the depressions to contain the burnt dust while the amber is being formed. The drill, or spindle, can also be constructed from a variety of dry, non-resinous wood, usually about seven inches long. The top is carved to a tapered point and the bottom is carved to a blunt point. The handhold, or bearing block, should be comfortable to hold and made of material that is harder than the drill and won't burn. A socket is carved in the bottom to fit the drill. You need a minimum of friction where the drill meets the block and a maximum of friction where the drill meets the fireboard. The tinder bundle, often referred to as a nest, is a ball of dry, fluffy, very flammable material. The bowstring is made of any strong cordage and is wrapped once around the drill so that it's tight enough not to slip while operating the bow. You're going to have your left foot on the hearth board, just like that. You might even move it a little closer, and you're going to put all your weight so you're trying to just anchor this section down, your hearth board and your uh, coal board. And then you're going to have your right hand, that wrist right up against your shin, and then you're going to have your spindle, and you're just going to kind of get that seated in the hearth board. So start off nice and slow with just a little bit of pressure. Try and keep this straight as possible. Let's there you go. go. Doing great. There you go. Use that whole bow. Alright. Lift it up to the sky and blow gently at first. And you're not going to blow it out, so use your blow strength as you continue. You got it, Liam. You got it. Like anything worthwhile, mastering fire by friction takes practice and patience. Using a bow and drill to light a fire is fun, 
but it's more than just an impressive display of an advanced camp craft technique to share with others. Who knows? Under certain circumstances, it might very well be a valuable skill to possess.